Hello and welcome to the 10th and final part of this Java Fire Simulation tutorial. In this part we will get our um, mouse click and mouse dragging to work so we can draw in our array. So if we look at what we have right now, we have a working fire simulation that spawns fires randomly based on the lightning strike and empties almost all the board. Then it sometimes pops up again while the, fires, uh, while the trees are spawning. And yeah, you can, as you can see, there's some stuff happening, but nothing happens if we click, or for that matter, if we uh, like drag around, nothing happens. So let's uh, get working on that. Oh, see, uh, because there's a lot of trees, a big fire can easily spread. But if there's few trees, a fire will have a hard time spreading. Let's close that down. Let's see here. I need a mouse for this. I can see. Okay, and let's start on that. So first we go into our GUI. Both our fire simulation.java, our board.java, and our cells.java. They're all done. You don't need to use that anymore. But in our GUI.java we still need a few things. So um, we need four things here. And let's see here. Two, three, four. Let's write pr not print private. Uh, int and then um, let's take and say um, it's probably easy if just do uh, left click um, then we'll have uh, an X and a Y and we'll have uh, right click we'll have an X and a Y and all these here, they will be equal to minus 10. We set them to minus 10 because uh, oh, because we need them to be out of bounds from the beginning. And I'll show you why later. But if we then scroll down into our uh, array uh, or into our draw cells, because that's actually where we're going to do all our stuff. So. Um, before the two for loops end, or no, sorry, after they end. So that's this one down here. Let's take it down to here. We will check that if, and then we say left, left click, uh, y is equal equal minus ten, and. Left click x equal equal minus 10. Then nothing happens. Else we will say, check if uh, left click y is larger or equal to x new. And if it is, then we will set left click y so x new minus 1. Because we can actually, if we hold in and drag, we can go out of bounds, as you can, as you remember from when we did uh, our first. Let's see where they are. Our first uh, dragging and pressing, you could actually go out of bounds. So we don't want that because then our array will go out of bounds and it will not be funny. So let's do an else if and check if the left click x, no, oh sorry, left click y still is less than or equal to zero because then left click y will be equal to zero and we'll have to do this uh, for our x1 so I'll just let's say copy this and paste it here let's say y y y y and let's do x and in here we will have some y's there we go and now you can't actually drag outside the screen. We uh, can see if we say dragging. Let's uh, print out um, e dot uh, get uh, get x. I think it was. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Plus some space e dot get y. No, I gotta look this up quickly. Let's Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, it should be E dot. Hmm. E dot get X. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's a problem up here. There we go. Like that. So let's try and run this and let's see if we can print out some stuff. Here's my mouse. And drag. And when we drag out here, we can't actually go like out of bounds. Out here. Oh, see, we can on the other side. You cannot actually go out of bounds here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I don't remember what we set this to. 400 times 400. Um, it actually seems like you can. It should be 200. Yeah, you can still. Hmm. I think I forgot some things. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, forgot in the mouse pressed. We actually don't have what we need up here. So in our mouse pressed, we do this, but then we need left click x to be equal to e dot get. Um, oh, not get y of course. Get x um, divided with five minus one, and then we need left click y be equal to e dot get y divided with 5 minus 1 and then see if it will work. So we have 400 times 500. You can still go out of bounds. And up here. Yep. Hmm. because now I know if this is up here we can't go out of bounds but in the dragon we can still go out of bounds but let's just set this up so we have it um, so we need our left click to be equal to our get x but divided with 5 and minus 1 so it will be a place in the array um, and we have to do the same for the right click so um, I'll say right click x it's equal to e dot get x divided with 5 minus 1 minus 1 and then we'll say right click y equal e dot get y divided with 5 minus 1 okay and that's for the mouse pressed and let's do the same for the mouse dragged and this is exactly the same. So I'll copy this, paste it in. I'll copy this, paste it in. Nope. There we go. And let's go back up here. So our left click is now done. And let's set up our right click. Or it's actually not completely done because in here we then want our cell array with our left click X. And I'll left click Y, which needs to be reversed. So it's left click Y and left click X is now equal to zero because that's a wall. So if you left click, it will become a wall. Else we'll do right click Y equal equal minus 10 and right click X equal equal minus 10. Nothing will happen if this is true. Else, um, well, this is again exactly the same. So I'll copy paste and just change the values from left to right. See if I can mark them all. That will be way easier to change. Let's see. I got them all. So let's say. Right click. Let's see if we can compile. It works. So 
and this will be changed to number six that's water so let's see if we can run this and we can actually drag but it's a bit off as you can see uh, I might slow that no it's okay so you can see it, it doesn't actually really follow my cursor it's a bit off let's try the right click and drag see it's also off um, it's weirdly like a lot off but it's no problem no need to worry we can fix this let's see what happens if some fire goes into it oh see some of the fire burned out oh some of the more fire burned out cool let's um let's change this so if we go back to our it's actually down here our dragging that's on our y value we will just change it a bit let's say minus five instead see if this is more reasonable see this is way better it's almost without any problems let's see with a right click it's kind of good might be one off uh, it's also the refresh rate so let's increase the refresh rate let's say uh, 500 510 let's see that's really really quick and now it kind of follows my arrow. We can do this instead. I think it looks good. I think it's. Uh, I think we can safely say that uh, we have implemented a fire simulation um, pretty quickly and pretty easily. A lot of basic things, um, and that's that's actually it. Um, we have used uh, JFrame, JPanel mouse listener, um, we have uh, referred to super classes, done for loops, enhanced for loops, uh, returned stuff, like some of our most, like this is probably uh, the most advanced stuff, like passing arguments, uh, try and catch, and it's pretty simple as you can see. So um, let's try and clear the console, let's try and see if we can make a uh, like say 700 times 1500 with a like a one second delay we can uh, see the fire uh, spreading quickly or easily it takes some time to draw stuff because it's a one second delay um, you can do you can do some fun things let's even place some water up here next to the fire and see the fire burn out um, as you can see, when the fire hits the end here, it will immediately jump to the other side. And that's a basic fire simulation. Uh, I promised to show you how you inverted some stuff here with the, on the board. So let's say if this is false, then it will definitely look different. As you can see, they are. You can definitely see that they are bulging the other way uh, around, and it might look cooler or worse you can decide for yourself uh, let's try without the 3d because that's actually pretty fun and it looks uh, really old school 8-bit uh, so uh, here we don't have any borders and it don't bounce anyways so this is uh, kind of 8-bitty that didn't sound good at all set it up to 100 and see it's I like this. I think it's cool, but uh, I think it's easier to see the squares uh, if you have uh, 3D on. You could probably set down like the spawning of pine trees a bit more, set up the lightning strikes, uh, or lower the lightning strike cases, uh, do some bit of tricking. You can also place more different types of trees, like if you are, well, no stuff about trees that burn. Uh, well, that's a basic one. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, post them in the comment section below. Thanks for this time, and see ya.